Quran says in Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 40, it is not permitted for the sun to catch up with the moon, nor the night to outstrip the day. Kullun fi falaki yasbahoon, each one traveling in orbit with its own motion. What does the Quran mean by saying it is not permitted for the sun to catch up with the moon? Previously, people thought that the orbit of the sun and the moon was the same. But Quran gives the indication, no, the orbit of the sun and the moon is different. So the question of catching up does not arise. And each of them, the sun and the moon, they rotate as well as revolve. The Quran says in Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 38, وَشَّمْسُ تَجْوِي لِمُسْتَقَرُّ اللَّهَ That the sun is running its course to a place determined, for a period determined. The Arabic word mustaqar means to a place determined, for a period determined. Today science has come to know that the sun, along with the solar system, it is going towards a point in the universe which the scientists call as the solar apex and it's moving at a speed of 12 miles per second and it's going to a point which they call as a point in the constellation of Hercules the same message is repeated in Surah Rod, chapter number 13 verse number 2 in Surah Fatir chapter number 35 verse number 13 in Surah Luqman chapter number 31 verse number 29 as well as in Surah Al-Zumr, chapter number 39, verse number 5, it says that the sun and the moon runs its course for a period determined. The Quran says in Surah Dhariyat, chapter number 51, verse number 47, that it is we who have constructed with power and skill the firmaments, and it's we who make the vastness and the expanding universe. The Arabic word Musi'una means expanding universe, the vastness of space. Erwin Eho, who is a famous scientist, he discovered and said that the universe is expanding, the galaxies are receding from one another, which the Quran has mentioned 1400 years ago.